Hey guys, are you unknowingly exposing your AI agents and APIs to security risks? Unencrypted key values are a major, major vulnerability, and I've seen too many videos on YouTube demonstrate poor security practices. In this video, I'm going to run through and demonstrate how to implement proper encryption in your NAN workflows to make sure your NAN API keys and other API keys are not shared with everyone and exposed on the internet. So I'm just going to open up my NAN example workflow here. So this workflow creates all my YouTube assets. So this actually uses an AI agent, which I've called YouTube SEO, to return hashtags and SEO keywords based on trending content. So what I'm looking at here is connecting this to Tavoli. So Tavoli is an AI powered search engine and it enables me to connect directly to the internet in order to retrieve trending data about trending videos to get hashtags and SEO keywords. So if I go into this HTTP request here, I've given it a description here, use this tool to send a HTTP request to the Tavoli API. And what I've done is filled out all of the credentials that I know I need to collect to Tavoli. So I've got the URL API endpoint here. We know we need a header authentication type and I've gone in and filled in authorization and my value here. This is how it is properly done. So this value here within the credentials in NAN is encrypted. I'll show you how people are doing it and how I've witnessed people doing it in videos uh, that is not encrypted. So what we're gonna do is just open up a new HTTP request node here and a quick way to go and understand or get an, an endpoint that you want to use is to go to something like perplexity. So we'll open up perplexity here and what we can do is actually import from a curl request. So we can say, want to search the Tavoli API, give me a curl request with a query. And what Perplexity will do, we will search the API documentation, find the relevant curl requests or relevant endpoint, and give us this curl request back. So this is a really quick way to grab an API call. So I'm gonna copy this here. I'm gonna go back into the workflow. And instead of typing out all the details, like I'd done previously, we can just go up to the top right corner and import from curl here. So if I copy and paste that in, what this now does is it pre-populates all of the information that Perplexity has told me I need to query something in Tavoli. So it's made the method a post. This is the uh, URL API endpoint. But the problem here, and we'll go back in a second and show you why, is actually it's given us no authentication type here. And what it's tried to do instead is send our API key within the parameters. Now the reason this is an issue is because within the body here, none of the values are encrypted. So if I open up the, or we make this HTTP request, it will obviously be rejected because there's no credentials here anyway. But if I actually put in my API key here, we'd get a response. But the reason why this is bad is if we open up the network tools down here. So what I've done is I've gone back to Tavoli and actually grabbed my API key and inserted it into the uh, body parameters here to demonstrate. So I've run this request and we can see in the network tab of the console okay. tools that we've got this here, which can actually show us what data we are sending to or sending that's visible on the internet to anyone that intercepts it. So what we can see is we've got a HTTP request somewhere. It's probably the last one. There we go, we're doing a post to this URL, HTTP request. And what we can see within that are the parameters we've sent. So if I go into the parameters, I go into body, look here, we've basically got my API key 
the value showing of my API key and it's completely visible to everyone that wants to uh, intercept this request. This is not encrypted and it means anyone can see this if they intercept the request. Super dangerous and that's why anytime you input your parameters you need to ensure that you go up to here and we'll do it now grab your API key let's delete it from the body here we'll add a new generic credential type and I know from experience that this is a header auth and what we're going to do is name it up here I've already got a tably one so I'll just do this as tably test header auths always use the word authorization as the name or the key and then what we'll do is we will add bearer I'll show you how this looks bearer space API key and we'll turn that to fixed now it's an encrypted value and we will see when we rerun this in the HTTP request if I rerun that we'll go to the new execution I'm just going to clear this and run it again to make sure we've got the right one so we'll go to the new execution we'll open up the workflow data we will find the relevant nodes which again is probably the last node and here we are we've got a HTTP request you can see that this time we've sent credentials and actually it's included it in uh, the header auth here but you can't see the value because it's encrypted but now within parameters you don't see the API key and that's because actually when we've sent it using the HTTP request because we treated it like a credential it's now been encrypted by NAN servers in the back end the same actually applies if you're making a request, HTTP request through a tools agent for example down here you can see that in the authentication I've used a header auth and encrypted the values in here instead of putting it in the body and this is the danger that some people are showing on YouTube right now is actually if you include this value in the body of the request as a non-encrypted value people can get hold of it and they can abuse your API keys and it's a big security risk especially if you're implementing this for clients etc let me know what you'd like to see more of down in the comments and thanks for watching.